special, watch me hit them with that two piece. Hit them with that biscuit at the honey, cause they too sweet. And she gon' eat it up like she is a beast. Stuck to the pole like it's cold and she me. I'm tired. That's hell. So I'm gonna do something to uh to uh to try to wake myself up. So don't mind me. Just bear with me. <clears throat> don't sit on my cake. Don't sit on my cake. Okay, don't. Please don't sit on my cake. Don't sit on my cake. Come on. Don't. Don't sit on my cake. Don't sit on my cake. The cake is mine. Don't sit on my cake. No. No. Don't sit on my cake. Don't sit on my cake. Don't sit on my cake. <laughs> what? I don't know why I said that. Uh, but I'm still tired. So, I mean... Um, for anybody that likes scented candles, get this. Awesome. Smells wonders. It's not, it's called Purple Sands. It's, it's purple. So, <laughs> you know, but, uh, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, you know, the, the smell is not overwhelming. It's not strong. It's very subtle. So, uh. Yeah. Oh, it's also good for like, you know, if you, if you yeah, if you, if you, if you about to clap or you, if you, uh, if you about to get some, this, this is purple sand. This is what you need. All right. It's set the mood. Just saying. It works every time. Every time it works. Just saying. All right, let's get it done. So, These ghost no. videos have been baffling experts for a long time. They could be planned, but all of them seem to have at least one aspect that cannot be fully disproven. Number 13. The Haunted Finders crew is a two-man team ready to explore a supposedly cursed church. Wow. I just want to emphasize that there is one person holding the camera and one person talking, no one else. Um, it's just me and John here tonight. About 12 minutes later... They you sure? Huh? Are you sure? Are you positive? That it's just you and your homeboy here tonight? You sure about that? You want honey? You sure? You know, just because it's you and somebody physically with you don't mean it's just y'all too, sons of bitches. There's probably about 20, 30 other things around you, close to you, that you probably just can't see. And I know damn well you can't sense them motherfuckers because you don't have no idea this one. You know? Yeah, so I, I find it really hard to believe the place that you're at, it's only y'all two bitches. It's probably, it's probably, all together, it's probably 50, 50 people, or just 50, just in that area. The feeling that they are being watched. Oh, yeah. A suspicion that is quickly verified on camera. Right, so, uh... We've had some oh my god! In the bell tower, so we're moving. You can see how the figure appears to be dressed in long flowing robes, almost like a monk or a priest would wear. What did I just say? This face does not show much detail, and you never get to clearly see its eyes, nose, or mouth. I don't want, I don't, even when facing the camera, I don't want to see all the that. strange guardian seems to keep pace with them for a bit as they briefly cross the bell tower, then it disappears again. He just said that's a guardian? Like a... Like a, uh... Like a guardian? Like a... 
like a guardian, like somebody that watching over you, protect. No, no. I know my guardian. So I'm gonna need you to get the hell away from me, bro. Come on, you're not my guardian. Okay, you somebody else's. You got lost. You know, I may look like, you know, the person that that that, that you are guardian, guard guardian. Yeah. Yeah. I may look like him. I may sound like him. But I'm not him. So I'm going to need you to go ahead and get away from me, bruh. Before I cluck you up, bruh. All right? All right. Won't be nothing. Won't start nothing. Wait. Wait. Won't start nothing. Won't be nothing. All right, dude. I told you I'm tired. I'm for good. Don't know what we're gonna get, but uh, we're gonna try another spirit box session. Number 12. A team of paranormal experts head to the abandoned county jail in Gonzales, Texas to prove it is really haunted. After exploring for a while, all of them agree that they are feeling an intense anger for no real reason. Oh, yeah. Finally, one of them decides to confront whatever is responsible for causing their heightened emotional state. We've been feeling a lot of anger. And I want to know why. The question is met with even greater anger in return. You're right. Ooh. <laughs> that motherfucker is inside of you. That's crazy. That's crazy. Don't you know when you go to places like this to close every hole in your body? At least the main jumps. Bow. 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 And if I mean, if you're a guy, you know, because guys have you know dicks, and it's like that. Cover up, co cover up that hole. <laughs> and you know, a woman, you know, just, just you know, put something right there. I guess I, I don't know. All I'm saying is. When 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 you doing some bullshit like this, and you want to go out exploring paranormal shit, at least have the you know courtesy of covering covering up at least the major holes in your body or on your body, so no motherfucker can get in your body. Just like this, motherfucker. According to them, an invisible hand slides around his throat and tightly squeezes. Oh my god. The retching noises he makes afterwards seems very real. <laughs> he runs out of the building and his eyes appear red and watery immediately afterwards. I feel the pressure right now on my neck. Look at your man, you gotta see your eyes. Move up the screen so you can see your eyes, man. Look at your eyes. Unless he is somehow able to give himself fully red eyes on command. That's weird. All of this evidence makes me believe that this ghost incident could have been real. Number 11. This ghost video from Pakistan follows a paranormal expert named Sajad Salim and his crew as they poke around an old building late at night. Eventually, they come across an apparition whose existence none of them have been able to explain ever since. <laughs> the hell was that? No. No. Standing on the other side of the room is a hunched over witch like figure dressed in tattered clothing. She advances three steps and stares at them. Then what happens next baffles everyone. She... Watch this part and you'll see she instantly vanishes. The red arrow marks where she was standing only moments ago. There's not enough time for her to retreat into the doorway. Yet she somehow disappears. Salim crosses the room and finds no one there, leaving him in a stunned silence. Number 10. A YouTuber named Michael JP86 is recording a cemetery late at night to see if anything strange will happen. <sighs>
I would love to learn how to whistle like that, like with two fingers, talking about some. I would love to do that shit. If anybody knows how to do that, um, if you have Snapchat, go ahead and send me a video of you doing that. Because I don't, I don't know how to whistle like I don't. Um, you going to a cemetery and recording to see if anything would happen, which is nine times out of ten, something will happen. Just saying. It's like me. I don't know. Like, not having sex for a very long time. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, I'm having sex with like, you know, this fine ass girl. Right? And, you know, big ass, your big ass, you know, she good up top. Yeah. And she know what she doing in bed. Right? And my shit is sensitive. Right? But I'm not, I'm not busting on the, I'm not gonna buzz. Get the fuck out. Oh, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm busting like at least. If I haven't had sex in like, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Oh, I'm, uh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. I'm probably like three, four times that night. You know? But I. That, I'm, I'm just saying, I don't know why I may, I don't know why I talked about sex. <laughs> you know, but come on. Well, I mean, what do what you, what do you, what, what, you go into a cemetery at night. You're probably recording at two or three o'clock in the morning just to see if something's going to happen. Bet you five dollars. I bet you my, my next YouTube paycheck. Something gonna happen. You will get clucked up. God off weekends. I hope something happens. Cause my YouTube paycheck. I mm -mm. I'm just saying. I kind of need that. <laughs> sure enough, a mysterious light materializes in the distance. <sighs> See? I saw it. At first, they suspect it could be the headlights of oncoming traffic, but when no vehicles drive by, they realize, much to their horror, that the light is actually coming from within the cemetery itself. According to Michael JP86, the rectangular shape shown here is actually a doorway made of pure light. What? Watch again in slow motion, and you'll see a small figure run into the doorway moments before the light fades away. I saw it. I saw it. If this isn't paranormal, then let me know what you think caused the light to appear, and also what the shadow running into it was. Number 9. A person is recording at an old memorial site that is apparently haunted. When something gets his attention, when they turn back around to record some more, they chance upon a girl dressed in modern clothes with long black hair covering her face and chest. Oh my god! Damn it! Son! Um, y'all good? Huh? You you good? Y'all good? What you, what you, what you, yeah? You sure you good? Cause I'm not good. I'm just, I'm just checking, make sure y'all good. Um, if you got a snack, that's awesome. If you have a cuddle buddy, that's awesome. Whew. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous how fast she came out of nowhere. Like, 
uh, the homie recorded the building, right? Probably like a second, two seconds later, he turns away, comes back, and there's somebody right there. Like, come on. Come the hell on, bro. Really? Where the, oh my God, where did she come from? Then she's gone. Something about this video seems natural and unplanned. I will admit that there's somewhat of a delayed reaction during the double take, but maybe whoever was recording could only see it on their screen and not in front of them. Or maybe this video is fake because the girl could have simply ducked out of sight. If the person recording had gone into the building and saw nothing, then I would be satisfied that this video is real. Number eight. This home in Villisca, Iowa is where an axe-wielding maniac once took the lives of an entire family and Damn. two guests. Oh my god. Whoever did it was never brought to justice and now, more than a hundred years later, the restless spirits of those left behind have yet to find peace. A YouTuber named Lighthouse Music senses the spirit of children hiding in the closet and starts recording. She speaks in a nice tone and offers candy. What? Nothing happens for some time until... <laughs> then, as if further proof was needed, the spirit appears to follow some other basic commands. Just a little bit further, or can you close it? Why are you talking to this thing? They even ask the child to open the door wider than before as a test and it timidly seems to obey. But the part that really has me convinced is at the very end. Just in case that was you, I'm gonna do it, promise. I'm gonna leave you some candy. I'm gonna leave it right here, over here on this chair, for you. Just in case that was you, I'm gonna do it, promise. I'm gonna leave you some candy. Thank you. Notice how the door shuts harder than any other time in the video. As soon as the spirit gets what it wants, maybe it could be a draft from a nearby window opening and closing the door. But this definitely seems like childlike behavior to me. Number seven. This six second video was taken back in 2010 and has been puzzling the YouTube community ever since. A YouTuber named Mark Grove reacts fast and manages to record no less than three specters filling the doorway to his living room. A closer look reveals what could be the spirits of a previous family that lived here. The one in the middle appears to be a child with a large adult to the left and a medium-sized teenager to the right. What? Mark Grove claims to have seen a fourth ghost in this video, but I honestly don't. The one to the far left is apparently just a chair, according to the description. So let me know what the fourth one is, if you can see it. Number 6. A YouTuber named BR Henry 16 is deep in a Southern California mine. Jesus. And he sees a pale light off in the distance. The light doesn't have the intense brightness of modern electronics. Instead, it looks dim and swings at waist level, kind of like an old lantern would have. BR Henry 16 is sure that this is the spirit of a cave miner, and I would have to agree. Let me know if you think the same, or if you believe this portion of the video was staged. Number 5. These Snapchat videos were taken days after YouTuber. Miss Brown 070809 and... Son! I feel like 99% of the people that watch my videos know that I have a Snapchat. Just saying. Alright. You know what's weird? <clears throat> I would somebody would uh send me a message on the Snapchat. It, it doesn't happen happen often, but somebody would send me a message on Snapchat and they would be like, is this Gator? What? How did you get my Snapchat? What do you mean? Or are you a YouTuber? What? 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 Or, or I love this. They'll be like, who is this? Bitch, you got my shit. What are you talking about? Um, but son, I have never experienced this. And God forbid I do. I don't want to. But if I do experience me ever on snapchat and i'm doing like a filter and i almost never do filters almost i do it like every once in a blue moon 
But if I ever do a filter, and, and I'm on, it's only showing me my face in another like, like if I do like a this shit, like a dog filter, and it's on my face, but then another dog filter like this pops up, but there's nobody else around. I'm, I'm, I may, I may delete Snapchat. I may, I um, uh, I may consider deleting Snapchat. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Cause they only do that. The filter only comes up when it, when there's a face. So what you talking about? See, nope. Co-worker decides to summon the spirit at her job for fun. Wow. She has felt constantly watched ever since. Maybe it's just a glitch. But the timing and movement of these Snapchat videos is a little too coincidental at times. It really does seem as if a spirit is responding oh my to God. a delay like here, for example. Friend, where are you? I want to see you. Please. Look at how the ghost actually appears at eye level and follows the movement of a colleague. It's here, it don't sing with them. <laughs> ah, yeah, ah. <laughs> And when she pluralizes the word friend, more of them seem to come out of nowhere. Friends, I need to say goodbye. Oh my god, you brought so many friends here. What the I find it odd that multiple faces appear after she says friends. I'm not saying that these absolutely have to be spirits, but the timing is undeniably strange at the very least. Number four. A CCTV gym camera captures a slow-moving white object at 6 in the morning. The hell? The strange shape appears to float in midair and even slightly changes form at times. Paranormal or not, experts have been ultimately unable to determine the source of this fluttering figure. I guess it might be a piece of lint or something that got stuck on the lens of the camera. It looks like a... The way it slowly sways without going anywhere. It looks like a ghost dick. I gotta give me some sleep. I got to. The only reason I said I don't, the only reason I said it is because I'm tired. I guarantee you, if I had, if I wasn't tired, and I had like a full energy, I promise you, I would that never would have came out of my mouth. The hell is a ghost dick? Makes me think that this really could be a classic haunting. Number three. The David Livingstone Center is a reportedly haunted museum it looks in haunted. Glasgow, Scotland. As these paranormal investigators are about to discover for themselves, they aren't even finished setting up their equipment when the poltergeist activity begins. First, something falls in the darkness, and then a piece of equipment flips over in front of them. They go to where the other object fell over and find one of the velvet ropes has come unhooked by itself. Since we didn't see it happen on video though, I guess we just have to take their word. Later, they head over to the chapel area where they think they see something move, but it's too dark to tell. As if it's a person? Yeah. Is it Nigerian? Yeah, it's Nigerian. When they take a picture of the corner of the chapel, however, this image of a shadow person is what they find. Number two. This home in Bathfell, Washington has been overtaken by an evil force that refuses to go away. Paranormal experts from all over the world have been baffled by their findings, like this team for example. First, motion sensors repeatedly detect movement in areas where nothing is visible to the eye. What's especially weird is how the tripwires stop beeping whenever the investigators are near. Grunts, growls, and strange laughter echo throughout the house as well. Here's an example of the same laugh caught on multiple cameras. Maybe direct it a little bit better. <laughs> All of the noises sound like they are the right distance away in each shot, so this is probably real. 
Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. My new music video, Stranger, was recently released. Could I get your honest opinion on whether it's good or bad? Tap the circle icon in the top right corner. Then tap my music video to watch it. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Number 1. A YouTuber named Sean Durez decides to go ghost investigating with his friends at their studio office, which is apparently haunted. They meet up at 2 a.m. and are talking about what they should do next when something in the next room over wrecks their plans. What, what actually was that? Approximately 10 seconds later, this sound fills the building. Listen to it and tell me if you think it's real or edited. Wait. Shh. By now, they are pretty much freaking out and ready to take off. But the spirit isn't quite through with them yet. You'll see absolutely nobody was nearby when this happens. What? Which makes me think it could be real. <laughs> All of the lights shut off before they get a chance to leave. One of them turns the camera light on just in time to see their friend blankly staring at them from the ground. What the heck? I guess he could just be acting. And one of his friends pulled him by his feet. But that still doesn't explain this actual ghost sighting at the very end. I think this could be real because the raw adrenaline sends his friend barreling straight through a door. Oh, shit. Your neighbor is supposed to always watch your back, and maybe they are watching your back along with your every other move. Yo. Clock anybody, anybody that that does this shit at all, whether it's your profession, you know, you, you know, like as far as like, you know, anything dealing with paranormal, paranormal shit, or like paranor paranormal investigation. Or anything like that. Cluck anybody that does stuff like that. You know? Either whether or not it's your profession. Whether or not it's a hobby. Or, you know, you do it for YouTube videos. Or you do it every once in a blue moon. Or. You did it one time. Right. And you got clucked up. And you decided never to do it again. Still cluck that person. Because. Jesus. That, that shouldn't. Man. Come on. I feel like anybody. That. That's, that's involved with the paranormal shit is going to get clucked up sooner or later. It's just a matter of time. You know? I mean, because, I mean, you dealing with spirits. I mean, what do you expect? Anything. Anything dealing with paranormal. Like, like Ouija boards. Uh... Um, upside down crosses, you know, uh, what's it called? The, um, graveyard sites, abandoned houses, buildings, anything related to that. Cluck you. In all due respect. No, never mind. In full due disrespects. Cluck you. Y'all, y'all make me mad. 
That's how you just saying. And to the people that be doing this, like on the like for YouTube. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.